what's up everybody it's natural boss um this video is going to be very different i'm doing my new house tour for those of you who don't know i just relocated from washington state to georgia so i now live in the atlanta area um i just want to give you a disclaimer that my, my house is not completely empty there's some new brand new furniture and then there's some old furniture and then there's a lot of boxes and stuff that still hasn't been unpacked so just in case you see a mess lay, laying around um that's what it is but anyway let's get to the video So I'm in the foyer right now, um, and as you can see, it's a two-story foyer, which is something that I always wanted. Um, there's a window. I don't know if I can get it. But anyway, oh yeah, there it is. There's a window up there, window on the door, of course. So there's um, natural light coming in. It does look kind of dark right now. It's kind of early um, in the morning when I'm filming this, so the sun is not really where I want it. But I'm sure you can see everything. So again, this is the entryway. This right here is just a TV stand <laughs> that I brought from my old place, but I'm not really gonna keep that, but I'm probably am gonna keep the lamps. To the right is the formal dining area. Again, this dining room table and chairs, this is something that I just brought from the old place. Um, so we would have something to sit on and eat at in the meantime until I get the real dining room set. Um, nice chandelier. Another thing that I want to add is that this house, this is a brand new construction. It was like probably 90% finished um, when we went under contract. So I didn't like, most of the options have already been selected, but thankfully most of the things are things that I would have picked anyway. And then also I just want you to notice the floor. This is engineered wood, which is what I really want because it's very low maintenance. It looks good and it's good for people with allergies. It's kind of a lightish color, um, which I like. I don't like the really dark wood color. So I'm walking into the living room area. Um, as you see, this section, actually this is brand new. I just got it yesterday and I really love it. It's really comfy and it's the gray color that I really wanted. I'm just gonna go around here. Ceiling fan, of course, I can't go without a ceiling fan. And then here, this is uh, this is something that I really love. This is a gas fireplace. I've never had one of these before. So I just turn it on, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I don't know if you can see like that little fire coming here. Anyway, I'll come back to that. It looks really nice and it's really cozy. Of course, I don't want the fireplace on right now because it's probably, oh, there it goes. See how nice that looks? You don't have to go out and chop wood or anything like that. This is something that I really wanted, so I love that. There's lots of windows in this living room area. And then, as you can see, I have a very big backyard. I'm not gonna go all the way out, but I will show you how big the backyard is. Yes, this is all my yard, all of that. Very expensive to maintain, but it looks nice. Um, eventually, we will get a fence. I just have some little patio furniture that I bought, or excuse me, brought from my old place. And with this big old giant patio, of course, I'm gonna get more. And it has a ceiling fan and light. More windows, and then right here, let me go back this way so you can really see the kitchen. Of course, this is an open concept, which is something else that I wanted. This is very open concept. So when you have this kind of house, you have to, to me, it looks better if you're a minimalist so you don't have junk all over the counter. And then that kind of fades into the living room area. And as you can see, we have hardly nothing. A big giant um, island, which is very nice. And I believe probably we're gonna have about four bar stools under there and I haven't decided on the color yet. And then when I keep saying we, you guys, I'm not married, I don't have a husband. Me and my sister bought this house together and our mom lives with us also. So that's who the we is. Over here is the double oven, which is something that I really wanted. I don't cook or anything, but I just think it looks nice to me. It looks better than the um, conventional <laughs> type of oven. All the appliances are Whirlpool which I do like because I've had great experience with Whirlpool. Then up here, microwave, 
gas range, of course, refrigerator. We bought this refrigerator. Whirlpool, of course, water ice maker. At a first glance, this kitchen looks very small, but it has so much space. You know the soft clothes. I highly recommend soft clothes cabinets. Um, so nothing slams in this house. There's a ton of space, so the looks are very deceiving. Like we haven't even used all the shelves. I don't know who would get up that high anyway. But of course, there's cabinets above the oven, above the microwave. Then over here and above the refrigerator, of course. And then right here is the entry to the garage. It's just a regular garage. This house actually is... It's, I'm just going to give you a little flash because it's junky because, like I said, we still haven't finished unpacking. Um, it's a three-car garage, so that was the two right there, the big garage, and then there's another third garage over to the right of the house. And then right here where I'm standing, this is like the little breakfast area, so eventually we'll put a little small table and chairs right there. This is the walk-in pantry. And as you can see, we filled it up, but there's still room to add more things. It's like all the spices, tea, a whole bunch of other stuff, like crock pots and all that kind of stuff. Then right here is, um, this is just the extra bathroom. It's a full bathroom. Right now we're using this as the guest bathroom. Um... Again, plenty of space. It's kind of just your standard tub and shower, but it's really nice. And then I didn't mention, I don't think earlier, this house is 3,600 square feet, which is pretty big. And it's four bathrooms, five bedrooms, and then a flex room, which I'm gonna show you right now. So this is a flex room. It's pretty big, recessed lighting, very nice. And this window right here, so of course, it's to the right of the house. This actually, should, this goes out to the driveway. The driveway probably, I believe, can fit about six cars. And then also you'll notice in this room, there's carpet. This, um, with this house, um, it's pretty much everything I wanted because what I also failed to mention is it has two primary suites. Um, yeah, two of the five bedrooms are primary suites. And then eventually this room right here is going to be my mom's room. And we're going to kind of expand it out so she has a little sitting area and all that. So now I'm going to go over also on this first floor is a coat closet, of course. And then over here, this is my sister's um, bedroom. This is one of the primary suites. This is more kind of, they call it like a junior primary suite, but it's really nice. And just like I said, excuse the mess. She's not, she doesn't have her bed yet. Um, so there's boxes and everything still, she loves those type of windows. This is what she had in our last place. Um, it's really nice. This looks out to the backyard to all those trees, that jungle or whatever back there. And then this is her bathroom. Um, dual vanity, lots of cabinet space. Standalone shower and then a really nice bathtub. She this kind she really wanted, so she's really excited about this. Of course, you see that big old window. Um, it brings lots of light in here, but then also it's um, frosted, so nobody sees her taking a bath or whatever. And then this is her walk-in closet. As you see, she's definitely <laughs> utilizing all this space. Um, I like where you guys can see mine later but I like what they did hers because she has the two rows of shelves but eventually she's going to do um she and myself are going to do closet treatments in our closets because we don't really like this is just like the standard wire and we want something better she has a little ottoman right there she has a really nice window in her closet and she sees like the front yard houses across the street um that's all her little Laker stuff, boo. Then she has her shoe racks and everything, her stuffed animals up there. Really nice closet. And I forgot to mention ceiling fan. And I also forgot to mention, as you can see, she has the coffered, I think it's what it's called, coffered ceiling, which is really, really nice. And a lot of 
bedrooms don't have that. Most of the time I see that like in a dining room or something. So that's really fancy. Okay, so now I'm gonna head upstairs. And excuse all that background noise, that's just like an air purifier because um, we have really bad allergies. So to the left right here, I'll stop right here. This is the linen closet. The linen closet is really not that big. Um, so we'll have to do some improvising with that. This is my sister's office. Of course, everything's probably going to be purple and white. This is all her. Actually, this is not all her books. She has like a million books. But this is just one of the bedrooms um, that she's going to use for her office. It has good closet space. It's just like a standard closet. Then this is the next, this is bathroom number three. This is my mom's bathroom for now. Um, and it's just a standard bath, standard size bathroom with the tower and sh with the shower and tub. Then this is bedroom number, um, bedroom number four, I think. No, I don't know. I lost count. Anyway, <laughs> so this is just another little extra space. As you see, this is my desk here. This is my nine to five desk. I really didn't want this to be in my bedroom, although my bedroom's big enough to hold it because I like to keep my job separate from my life. And so it's right here. And as you can see, <laughs> This is the start of like an exercise room as well. So we're just like using the space for different things. Then it has like the standard closet. This room does not, it has a regular light. It doesn't have a ceiling fan, but it is wired for a ceiling fan. Actually, I believe all the rooms are wired for ceiling fans. This is the laundry room. Um, this, I'm very proud of this. This is the new um, Samsung Smart Washer and Dryer. I love it. This is like the best one I ever had. It's top load and I, I just love it. You can like control it from your phone. It's crazy. And of course in here it has the engineered wood and then also forgot to mention uh, pretty much everything else up here is carpet. This right here is my mom's room. I'm not going to open the door, but this room is bigger than those other two rooms that you've seen up here. Um, but this is kind of like her temporary space until we get the downstairs, that flex room, reconfigured into a bedroom. Of course, that little string hanging down, that's the attic. This is the loft area. Excuse the mess. This is like unpacked boxes. A lot of my clothes and shoes are still out here. Um, but it's pretty big. Of course, I'm going to put like a couch and TV up here. Lots of light up here. Then last but not least is my favorite spot, which is my bedroom, the second primary. Again, disclaimer, excuse the mess. Um, this bed is actually brand new. It's a queen size bed. This room is big enough, obviously, to fit a Cali California king, but I was being cheap. And I'm type, I just like a lot of space to be able to walk around in and roll around the floor or do whatever I wanna do. So I just got a queen size, it's big enough you know, for me to get the job done or whatever, but really a California King could easily fit in here. This is also my new nightstands and lamps that I bought. I, my new ottoman that I bought over here is just some junk, some extra chairs and stuff. Cause for a while we didn't have anywhere to sit. I don't know if this really, I don't know if you're seeing how big my room is ceiling fan, of course, but there is over here a sitting area I don't know if this video is doing it any justice, but this sitting area is actually the size of another bedroom. And I like it because it has its own window, recessed light. I'm not 100% sure. You see, I have my, um, <laughs> my camera stand and light stands over here, my ring light. Um, I'm probably going to film a lot over here, just make it kind of like a cozy little area. TV sitting on the floor. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. So I really don't watch that much TV, but I might keep it in here um, mounted or get a stand or something. Um, so that's that area. You can see I have three windows and it brings in like a lot of light. Um, and this window I can see straight across um, to my neighbor's house and over there in the rest of the area. I also think I forgot to mention this is a gated community, um, which I love so people can't just pop up and show up when they want. They got to ask first. 
So over here is my closet. It's a mess, but you get the idea. I've almost used all the space, but like I said, something that I didn't like the way they did it, they only gave me one row. My sister has two rows. And I'm the one that really needs two rows because I don't have any long dresses or any kind of long shirts or anything. I just have like sweatshirts, t-shirts, jeans, and that sort of thing. Um, it's part of my part of my shoe collection up there. And then I put this little dresser thing <laughs> in here just as a temporary thing. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. My closet is really big, but it does need a treatment. And then last but not least is my bathroom. As you see, it's very big, has dual vanities, lots of cabinet space. And these, all of the cabinets in this house have the soft clothes, which I love. I've always wanted that um, big giant mirror, nice lights. I might change those eventually, but they're nice. Then I have this bathtub over here that I've never used. <laughs> and I don't know if I'll ever use it. I just type, I take showers all the time, but it's nice to have and it looks really nice. I'll probably take advantage of it since I have it. Um, this wall, right? These walls seem kind of plain. Maybe, I don't know, I'm supposed to put some decoration there. I'm not sure. Um, regular tile floor, which I like it. That's what I wanted. And then just the standalone shower. And then over here is the water closet. And I built that little toilet paper holder myself. <laughs> Proud of myself. My sister, I, didn't, I don't think I showed it in her bathroom. She has a water closet also. Pretty much the same. So excuse me, I'm sweating from walking around this house and it's hot already and it's in the morning, but that's Georgia for you. That's what I wanted. I knew what I was walking into, but this is my house tour. I think I lost track, but I did, with, with the exception of going into my mom's room, I did show you all five bedrooms, four full bathrooms, a flex room, um, formal dining room and then everything else that's in a normal house or whatever. I really love this house. It was handpicked. Like literally when I was talking to my real estate broker the first time I seen it, I was like, I want that house and I'll do anything to get it. And um, I just love it. Our neighborhood's really nice. It's really quiet. It's so quiet. It's almost like weird. Like all we hear is like the crickets and whatever other stuff Georgia has to offer out, outside or whatever. But just like at my other place, all I heard sirens, car crashes and everything. I live in a very metropolitan area, but here it's just so... Um, quiet. But anyway, if you like this video, thumbs up, um, comment, let me know what you think. And I will, when I, once I get it fully decorated or at least a little bit more decorated, I'll keep you guys updated and show you the, what I got. Um, but anyway, I'll see you in the next video.